Hey girl, hey boy, it is Rally Girl. I am back. Let me tell you, yesterday I was in uh, one of, I'm in like several Facebook groups and a few of them are natural hair groups. In these groups, you have people who have been natural for years and just doing the doggone thing. You have people who are new to natural and just totally confused. And then you have people who've been natural for years and are totally confused. You know, why is my hair not growing? Why is my hair dry? Um, what is my curl pattern? Like, and what hair type am I? What products are best for this hair type? So on and so forth. The people in this group who are who feel like they really have a handle on this thing, they are so helpful. They are right there, Johnny on the spot. I have helped as well. But I have to say, I was so overwhelmed with all of the, the list of products that people asked about. In fact, some of the people cut off the comments <laughs> to their posts because the, the product types just, the products just kept rolling through. Now, I am a reformed product junkie. You see some product uh, reviews here on this channel. I still buy some products here and there. I was a product junkie before, back when I was relaxed. And everything that I, tr I was trying to grow my hair out, I was trying to do all sorts of things and I didn't know what worked and what didn't because I was using too many things and I wasn't given one thing a chance. And so <laughs> I was inspired to do this video because I'm like these poor people who are like they don't know where to start it's like help me but in the and everybody was good intention but it's like are we doing more harm than help when we throw a bunch of different products at people now, you know what i mean there were a few times i wanted to interject and and mention something but i'm like if i do that then that's just going to add to the whole confusion and the overwhelm and so <laughs> But what I can say, so when I first went to natu back to natural, that was like 2003, 2004. And by back to natural, I mean, I was born natural, had a relaxer for several years. And then when I got uh, older, I decided I wanted to re let the relaxer go. Okay. There was no internet. I'm sorry, that's a lie. There was internet, but there was no social media. There was no YouTube there were two or three websites dedicated for naturals and those were like those discussion board type websites where we all traded a lot of us we figured it out we were figuring figuring it out with each other and we did typing and every once in a while somebody would post a picture I, that wasn't like a big a real thing back then like it is now you can't walk two steps without you know running into an app or a natural hair magazine or someone who's like you you can't look to the left or the right with or the right without any of that without seeing any of that so what i'm saying is i was a product junkie then um after i got natural i was still a product junkie buying things and at the same time trying to figure out what you know what ingredients actually worked what ingredients did my hair love and respond to anyway fast forward i started experimenting with the ingredients like the one ingredient my hair loves outside of water is aloe my hair loves aloe when i discovered that i have not looked back and that was when i actually started um cultivating growing my hair out more and experience experimenting with other things other ingredients now I still purchased products, as you all can see on this channel. I still reviewed the products. But what I discovered is in all of my mixing and doing my DIYs, I was still feeding that product that need to want to try different products, but I had it at my fingertips. If you are any either if you are any of the people that I mentioned earlier, new to natural or been natural for years but are frustrated and kind of confused, what I would suggest is take a beat, slow down, 
just take a minute and step back. Do a little bit of research on your hair type, and that includes not just the curl pattern, but the porosity, the density, the thickness of your strands. And then maybe consider playing around with some ingredients to see what your hair responds to most. Do yourself a favor and avoid the the overwhelm with and the financial burden of spending lots and lots of money on products okay you might pick a couple and try something that has aloe in it to see how it works for you but you may pick a couple of in, a couple of products and go from there okay because I'm telling you, I was so overwhelmed yesterday. I was like, I could only imagine how these people must feel. Okay, and speaking of which, I am segueing also into Good Hair Day. I had dropped an ebook, and this is this ebook is organic DIY natural hair recipes. And what it does is it takes you through a wash day. You do not use all of the recipes on one wash day, but what you do is you look at the ingredients and you look at what your hair, what you feel like your hair might need, and you pick one or two recipes to filter into your regimen. And you don't have to stick with just one, but you can kind of play around with it and see, or even what if you're busy, okay? So there's recipes. If you want something quick to strengthen your hair, there's some quick recipes. If you want to have like a lavish, a uh, spa day for your hair you have recipes for that as well okay so i am offering it at a special price right now the link is in the description but again it is good hair day by your girl rally girl my tj sykes is my name um, organic recipes for long strong kinky curly coily hair textures i.e afro type 4 hair and um, the recipes are also good for other textures like a, a three, three C hair, but specifically, I noticed that there was um, a need for people with hair like mine. You know, people asking like what to do. So I created this just for you guys. Okay. So again, avoid the overwhelm. Take a beat. Try not to be frustrated. Just put your hair back in a, maybe if you cornrow it or put it in some sort of quick protective style while you research and then go from there. If you have any questions, let me know. Until then, live simply and be kind.